Close your eyes, watch your breath, but you don't watch it as much as you feel it. Watching here means observing, noticing how the breath feels, where you feel the breath. Wherever the breath is most prominent, focus your attention there. And then try to keep your attention there to see what's going on. What kind of breathing feels good, what kind of breathing doesn't feel good. What kind of breathing energizes you when you need energy, relaxes you when you need to be relaxed. There's no book that will tell you what kind of way you have to breathe right now. You have to use your own powers of observation, because that's how you grow in the Dharma, by doing things and observing what you're doing, reflecting on what you're doing, asking yourself, how can I improve? This is something that people tend to do in the new year. But really, it's something you should be doing all the time, because we're planting seeds all the time, whether every intentional action we have, whether it's in terms of our physical actions, verbal actions, even just the thoughts going through the mind that we tend to focus on and to develop. When we do that, we're planting seeds, and you have to ask yourself, what kind of seed are you planting? Because after all, it is your garden. You're the one who will be reaping the crops. So we're going to plant good seeds. As the Buddha said, you plant a bitter melon seed and you can't expect to get a grape out of it. So try to act on your best intentions all the time. Whether you're sitting here meditating or you're going out through the world, ask yourself, what is my intention here? What am I trying to accomplish? And is it something good? A lot of the things in daily life are fairly neutral. Your decision to have a meal, the decision to take a bath, those things. But the more important ones are the ones where you can actually make a difference between giving in to your greed, aversion, and delusion and not giving in to those things. If you don't give in to them, then whatever actions you do will be planting good seeds. As for the bad seeds that are sprouting right now, you, what can you do? Th those were the seeds you planted sometime in the past. But you can. Make sure that you don't have to suffer from them right now. That's also your choice here in the present moment. These are the skills we develop as we meditate, learning how to deal with pains and deal with unpleasant situations, and not get the mind riled up, not get the mind disturbed. Accept the fact that we have some bl bad plants in our garden, but even unhealthy plants sometimes can be made into good food. And some plants, are just, you just don't want to eat them at all. Well, you have that choice. You don't have to feed on them. Because in addition to planting seeds all the time, we, focus, we feed on things. And we're so, usually so wrapped up in what we're feeding on that we forget that we're actually planting seeds for the present and the, and the future. We're just focusing on what's coming in our mouths, in other words, the mouths of the mind, what we feed on. So pay more attention to what seeds you're planting. In other words, the intentions that you act on, try to think about what kind of ripple effect they will have in the world. And as you probably noticed in, in lakes, when the ripples go out, then they bounce off the shore and they come back. In the same way, the seeds that you plant don't get sent to other people all the time. They're going to come back, no matter how much you aim at, it, at somebody else. Okay, what you aim at somebody else is going to come back your way. So try to keep that in mind, that you are planting seeds all the time. So plant the best seeds that you can.